If we told you that there were a couple thousand dollars under these tables, <laughs> and all you had to do to get it was write an essay, would you do it? Yes. Yeah, you or your child are probably sitting there saying yes to this, but so many scholarship applications you're saying no to. What's the deal with that, right? I'm looking into the money that students could be getting for school and why now is the time to start looking for scholarships. Every week that passes could be a week that you're missing out on money. It's scholarship season, and if students put in the work, businesses and foundations are looking to hand over the cash. Is it ever really too early for parents and kids to start thinking about scholarships and then free money, so to speak? No, it's it's never too early for parents and students to start thinking about scholarships. Matter of fact, you know, they need to start right away as early as middle school. Audra Jeffries is the supervisor of school counseling for Chesapeake Public Schools. She says younger students can get early scholarships if they apply and are selected they'll get a check, which can help them start a college savings account. That's the beautiful thing about scholarships. It's never too early and it's never too late. And it's never too unusual either. Rick Castellano with Sally May says there are scholarships for just about everything. We're talking about scholarships for things like skateboarding, for being left-handed, for being over six feet tall. Meanwhile, Castellano says more than half of students don't fill out the free application for federal student aid, commonly known as the FAFSA. Every family, every student is able to complete the FAFSA and should complete the FAFSA for that matter. There's no income limit to completing the FAFSA and just about every student who completes is going to be eligible for some form of aid. Including Jeffries. I practice what I preach. I am currently in graduate school right now working on my PhD for free on a scholarship by doing those same methods that I'm talking about here. which is just awesome to hear. Now everyone will qualify for something and scholarship season as Jeffries calls it runs from now until about the end of January. So is there any tangible advice that you found could be helpful? Yeah, so her and I talked a lot about that and she says take a weekend, do some Googling and then go through scholarship applications online, print them out and then make a pile of them, put a sticky note on top of each one with the month that that scholarship is due and then set the deadline for the last week of the month before. So if it's due in October, make it the last week of September and then you have it all cleanly filed there. Uh, so a really easy way for you to be able to organize your information. And Jessica, I know that you said you had some personal experience with this. Your mom was wonderful in helping you uh, get your scholarships together. Let me tell you, shout out to Mama Larche because once I got into ninth grade, she started she got the big book of scholarships. Mm -hmm. She started organizing everything just like your expert said to do. And I went to FAMU on a full ride. I had additional scholarships that paid for, like if I took an internship that was unpaid, that could pay for my rent, my food, my, my laptops, all my technology. So it really, really can work. You just got to start early and create a system. Apply for all the scholarships. You never know what you'll get. And if it seems like it might be a little bit more complex to to fill out an application, think about how many people are saying no to that one. Mm -hmm. So you might be the one person that applied for it and you already likely have the essay written. So we have close to a dozen helpful scholarship websites right now on WTKR.com. So go check it out. It could help you out this morning.